everybody how is everybody doing welcome back to my channel conversations with luluza guys it's a new week and i'm only starting um to blog on the wednesday guys on the wednesday i've been so busy so busy <laughs> but yeah yeah i'm trying to wednesday um for exceni sasha by load sharing and then your fave decided no man let me take you out girl so one keep her your fave and then that means i was late for work but then again for you i'm so zini i am here at work so okay i'm trying i have a special guest guys um a special guest guys no? it's my little sister okay guys my little sister so it's the last born last born my mom and then so we talk and i i'm here with my little sister yeah and um, last born my mom and then guys no? so we'll let her introduce herself and then this is it okay okay hi <laughs> uh so I'm the last one, as they said. Uh, so my voice is there. Be patient with it. Uh, no more solo. Tanagama I'm solo. Sisga uh, kusena. Apparently I'm Caesar now, but solo originally. Uh, yeah, I have uh, many many titles in politics. Now apparently I should not speak about politics. So I, I guess I'm an education activist. I love the community. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, if I love more guys, no. I, she was asking, and I said to her, anything but politics. Because this girl is politics. Like, she she is politics. What else should I say? If I'm not supposed to talk she is politics. Even if all over, but PK, it's a lot of people. So, I was, I just, I'm just trying to distract the girl because, you know, there are other stuff outside of politics. Hello? That's there, guys. There is, there is, actually. So, this is what I want to ask. Um, growing up, um, Okay, before before we meet an hour, there's this topic ne, that's doing the rounds about uh, favoritism and all of that. So, growing up between me and an you know, no more Did you ever experience that? Um, if you did, how did it affect you? If it didn't, then it's okay. But how was that dynamic? Did you see that dynamic or as I'm going? Uh, I'm as if because it felt like. <laughs> I think okay. both my siblings felt like I'm the favorite child. Uh -huh. um, and it's so awkward because I'm one child who never had a relationship with my mom. Mm -hmm. Because my mom has always been busy. Uh, and then I, my sister was more like my mom. Okay. So the only conversation my mom and I would have would be, yeah, I'm going to have a parliament. And at the time I was just a child. <laughs> <laughs> Watching Parliament, so I'm always on my cartoon, guys. Till this day, uh, apparently, I'm a sponge ball or I don't know the new one, the button of my veil. So, I don't know, I don't know cartoons <laughs> because from a young age, I've been watching politics, yep. right? Mm -hmm. uh, from a young age, I've been watching Parliament. So, Ma, what well, the reason my mom would call me is because they want to say that thing, give me a one. So the two sister, the two siblings thought I'm the favorite child. Mara, nah, I, I didn't see it that way. I thought I'm the favorite last born to my sister. Okay, well, that I knew. <laughs> I had always thought my brother is the favorite child to my mother. So maybe maybe my brother thought my sister is the favorite child. Everyone made an assumption. But at the end of the day, as the three siblings, um, we were, Together, together, guys, together, together. Like I really want to say, um, like I always uh, tell my kids, with my new sibling by that, and yes, like I don't know what that is. Um, school is tanana, so tanana na manje, na umuya na pumenge, na ngasambizi mo sisi, but the little brother still calls me sisi. Like your box is tanana, na umuya kasi 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 we president, ngasambizi mo sisi ya manje, but say ye oh. And I think, like I, I did say when I had the talk about favoritism, is that 
I think so as you view it differently, especially when you are inside it. Everyone thinks that one is, and as I said, me, Nanomuzana, we always thought she was the faith, and as she said, she was the victim, because they make sure it's some sweet. <laughs> so yeah yeah so okay um growing up growing up how was your experience um growing up in a home where your mom is a politician she's busy um now you're growing you know there's certain things you wanted to reach out to you for but you know the girl was not so much there um, what would you have wanted to see from her? You know, yeah. Yo, I don't know. Because all I know is what she portrayed. But I think one thing I've noticed is that till this day, we don't have, we can't have any other conversation. Yeah. Not unless it's a politics. politics. Like she'll call me, like, oh, what's up? <laughs> and you'll be thinking she wants to say something to us. And she's saying, hey, it's really essay at them. Shut up. So it's still that relationship, but I also noticed that uh, it was difficult for her to advise me on intimate relationships yeah. because we've never had that conversation. So I think she was uncomfortable. So because I think I, the first time I tried to ask for her advice, she was very, very uncomfortable that she made me uncomfortable, that it became uncomfortable, it became awkward, and we left it because it was so uncomfortable. <laughs> The girl has to let us know what advice she wanted, right? She has to let us know. We want to know. So, so yeah, pera la, when it's kai tabu kista. Ah, you have no bias. So yeah, pera la. So, to an extent, you go to. I, I think it's a pillar. So, kuluma ngaman ngaman yama relationships, except political relationships. So, I think my relationships are still suffering because. I don't know what the relation, a proper relationship outside mm. political relationship looks like, you know. And I think I can relate with Abantu Abazalwa and because my sister has been a church person from a young age. Yo, we need a sister so to be there. Selma Anglican Church, Kumbule Anglican Church, but first I'm Sunday school is funny. I'm sorry, 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 I'm and then we went to join CWC, which was one of the best church. We've learned a lot. I think yeah. most of my fundamental principles. Shout out to Pastor Thoreau. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to him. And I think yeah. one of the uh, biggest principles are coming from that uh, upbringing. You know, she, she, uh, she always made sure we go to church. And I think even today, we may not be prayer warriors, but mm -hmm. the principles of God are still sustaining us because we learned them from a young age. I think mm -hmm. that's one of the biggest privileges that um, I'm sustained by God in a very hostile politics. Mm. So that upbringing balances where I am today. Yeah, yeah that's awesome, guys. So what, what's coming out now is you, I hear you saying you're, you're struggling with you know relations, relational uh, things outside of politics. What are you doing about it? Uh, I tried to do something about it through therapy, uh, but the therapy was, was like a six-month thing. It was nice, fun, no politics there, just attending, be writing things down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, pen. Mm -hmm. uh, back to politics. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a problem with that. No, guys, I really have a problem with that. I mean, yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Um, it therapy cannot be mshambe. We can't say mshambe in a very long term. Ne? But the tools that the, you were given within yeah. six months, yeah. you can't say it pay leave <laughs> because those are, are tools that are supposed to last you a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. No, so it means <laughs> so it means you were active while the sessions were active, but outside of the sessions is that you cannot relate with the notes that you made or the tools that you were given. Okay, no, the tools are still there. The difference was, you have 24 hours in a day, you attend therapy for like two hours. Mm -hmm. no. So, in terms of behavior, it, mm -hmm. I think, man, I think therapy should be lifetime. 
that's my just my thinking. Mm -hmm. And I think it's one thing I am excited about through you, with mm -hmm. um, even though we don't sit so for a, therap mm -hmm. a therapeutic session because we are siblings. Yeah. But I'm learning a lot, especially when you're sitting with other okay. people yeah. going to the church. Mm -hmm. Because to me, I think therapy should be a lifetime thing. Definitely. You know, because if you're gonna sit for two hours when you are living for 24 hours, yeah. obviously behavior uh, patterns, you know, yeah. don't easily change. Yeah. So if you make it a, a behavior pattern. It's just like meditation, should be daily, you know. So yes, tools are there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not using them as effective, but I think mm -hmm. your um, here and there they are helping. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, okay, let me start with this one. Mm -hmm. Therapy. I'm I'm a very impatient human being, like okay. super impatient. Mm -hmm. But therapy has taught me a bit of impatience. So maybe I was. 100% impatient, and I think now 90% impatient. So still far from yes, yes, greatness, but, but there's progress. Yeah, um, yeah. Of which also politics also is teaching me that because using those tools in politics, you are able to live because yes. in politics you are different, dealing with different people. Of Slow, course, of course. slower, slower, <laughs> medium, faster. <laughs> so you need to balance your patience there. People who are too fast for you, yeah. to people who are too, too slow, slow, and then you balance yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so it helped me there, but also emotions. Mm -hmm. um, by nature, I think I can, I'm not easily provoked. Mm -hmm. I, I take time to be angry and all of that, and I forgive easily. But therapy has taught me to talk it out. Yeah. Because I would solo it in a yeah. life. It's yeah. fine. Was, that's a human yeah. being. Cool yeah. But therapy has, has, has given me an ability to say, I am a cool man. I'm Oh, okay. I'm a cool man. I'm going to say nothing to talk about. But in the future, I'll be willing. So at least you can get that space to be able to talk. Um, I think the last one would be how I also relate to people, yes. you know, um, understanding the times, mm -hmm. when do you say it, how do you say it, uh, how do you, uh, like, at what point um, do you expect a response maybe from that reaction? So, infinite is the timing, basically. I'm not yet perfect, but um, there are issues that get worse because the timing yes, yes, was bad. Exactly. And, and the timing yes, speaks yes. a lot to how you resolve issues mm. uh, and conflict, you know. So I think in Sizelapo, but also, like I said, biblical principles, mm. uh, the foundations have, yes. have sustained me, you know, yes. and the foundations have helped me also to understand mm. that therapy is an edifier and an, ampl an amplifier. But above it all, the Holy Spirit is a mm. true counselor. That's you right. can see thousands of therapists, mm. uh, but if the Holy Spirit doesn't counsel you, you, you may have the techniques, uh, the tools, but you may not know how to use them. Yeah. That's mindful. Somebody say, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's wonderful. Um, do you have any questions for me? It's, it's, you know, it's always good and wrong to be outside your always space. Because I, I think you're being delivered now to say, <laughs> uh, let's not talk about politics. Yes, 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 politics. yes. There's yeah. much yeah. into life than politics. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And it's good to actually say, okay, yeah, there's much into life outside. Yes, politics. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think there's a saying that says, uh, for you to win someone, you must come into their space. You know? So, how do you bring me to your space without saying, don't speak about politics? Okay. But bring me into your space with empathy mm -hmm. and sympathy. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because mm -hmm. if it was a little more to Taiwan, this yes, place is so nice. I'll just see the Kuluma, we're getting down. Already, you are making that person feeling uncomfortable. Okay. You are already defense. Yeah, you are already yeah. making that person to build a wall. I've yeah. got my arms, I've been on defensive mode, I've been ready to shoot. Okay. So, how do you bring that person into a space of taking your stand? And then he just asks questions. Yeah. And then, yeah, now obviously, I'm going to have it. Yeah, I'm going to eventually, because I know you are in your therapeutic space now yes. where you want to therapeutize me yes, in a way. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is not yeah. a bad thing, but how do you then bring me with empathy and sympathy into it? <laughs> not that I was not here with sympathy. Just <laughs> Not that. Not that I'm going to Not that, you know. <laughs> 
Um, no, nyabuzo, nyabuzo kutu team. Um, and it's not even that I don't want us to talk about politics, really. But I knew how it would get you in a funk. And now I'm also curious to say, okay, what else then? Then it gets you all built up where it's like, okay, so cool, my all right, but it's it's not really that I don't want us to talk outside of politics, you know. Um, maybe I can do better. Um, but see, and it does make sense. Um, yeah. Okay, Sha. Mm -hmm. How do you keep up with all the troubles and problems and nonsense? <laughs> you are <laughs> and nonsense <laughs> of all people around, especially of us around, mm -hmm. uh, who are so dogmatic oh, and judgmental. Yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. how do you keep up with that? Because mm -hmm. now, if it was me, I'd have to be a team. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Um, I, I think um, we had this this talk last week um, in the senior senior. So there was someone who was talking about me, or a group of people who were talking about me, and someone close overheard. So they told me, and then Gunga Sikdala, those group of people passed by me, and this person Ong Jelila was witnessing. So obviously they were trying to see how I would respond. And I still responded the same way I did before I knew what they were saying about me. So when I came back, they asked, how, why, why did you do that? And I'm like, for all my life, I've allowed God to fight my battles. Listen, wonke. And I always tell, especially those people who are close to me, God will fight for me. God knows. Even less than that, I buy a share from God knows. So one, I always let the Lord know I depend on you. I cannot do this without you. Two, I do get time to cry, and I know most people by example, Kala, almost like no, me nangko no Kala. Me na I do cry, guys, and I cry. I let it all out. I I feel everything when I'm angry. I do feel the anger. But obviously, I'm, I'm not, I'm confined because also the word would say, you do well to be angry, but do not sin in your anger. Also, the word would say, a fool rests in the lips of, of I mean, yeah. anger rests in the bosom of fool. So also, we, is, we will then start ringing in my head every time I think the uh, outside of the Holy Spirit. And then the Holy Spirit will keep reminding me, you are in the flesh, come back, because you are a spirit person. You cannot deal nada bantu. Okay, don't come mm -hmm. to the question here. Okay. You're crying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Crying means. Yeah. 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 I do agree. I think Nana, I possess that character. I can hear a lot of things. Yes. But my born, I will react the same. However, with me, mm -hmm. forgiveness is not restoration. I will forgive you. I will act normal. Mm -hmm. But what we had will not be the same. So if 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 we would see, feel a, a sense of betrayal, mm -hmm. a sense of mistrust, mm -hmm. uh, you know, or misleading mm -hmm. somewhere. Ah, uh, again, what we had, I think it's the same. Yeah. Obviously, I won't say things I used to yeah. say. I won't confide as I used yes. to confide. Yeah. 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 But I will call it all, it's right. Yeah. We don't even have to discuss it. It's just I don't want to deal with your spirit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, I, it's for give up, but it will not be restored. Um, so, when you go the question, you know, do you think job would say yes you are color, but probably you okay think it mean maybe you cry in private? Yes. Do you think that is inspired by the word or by your upbringing? I'm asking this because mm -hmm. for so long on cool and engine, Angaza and Abonuma Makala, you know. And at some stage I paused, I think yeah. I was in high school. Yeah. And I paused and I'm scared with my money cala. Mm -hmm. And and no more. I'm not talking about Kalam Kali. I want 
Mamoni akal ati mele uzbuzu to kalamuksi zangan ne ashoranjan ati yena unoti se uti manga kal waza kal ipoza i i thinking capacity yake so kubanza mugu zana wa solutions because usa kal at that time so agata lu kalis katasi the because then means uti le ya i solution ne u discover a solution so yes at yes nga kal but one I try in private. I don't cry in front of my enemy. Okay. Number two, I don't try for long okay. because I want my my mind to yes. to think start thinking to of start solutions. Thinking of solutions. Yes. And I thought that's a powerful answer, mm -hmm. you know. And I cried. I started crying later. Oh, for the longest time as a child, I, I thought I would be bang. Later crying, let you know. <laughs> and and now, <laughs> to to her yes, response yes, that time yes, and through yes. your sessions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, crying is fine, and yeah. I try. I remember you were saying we were picketing yesterday. Mm. I got into a shower in the morning, and I always mm. tell my leaders that mm. you can't be in politics without spirituality. Yeah, so no. I, get, I get into a shower, I start praying, mm. and all the emotions of 2020, yes. 2012, and 2013 yes. started That's erosing right. of the experience I had with Nesfas. Yes. And I'm thinking, mm. 10 years later, yes. should I have given birth that time? My mm. child now yeah. would be 10 yeah. years thinking of his or her future 10 years to come, mm. this is what they will be facing. Mm. 10 years ago, when a parent never thought what I went through was important, yes. their child today, they are going through it. Mm. What kind of a country are we in, mm. you know? But but then that those emotions started erosing and I started mm. crying and I said, God, may, 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 may this noise start making sense yes. because it's coming, it's oozing out mm. from past generations into mm. other generations. Mm. But it's coming from a place of struggle yes. where we were not trying to hold ourselves from crying, appearing like soldiers so, and comrades. Yeah. And today yeah. it's reality. It yeah. goes beyond just politics. It's real suffering. And it speaks to our emotions as to human beings. Mm. So is it coming from the Bible? Or from the <laughs> <laughs> so guys. Um sure. From your submissions. Um I'm not into your I I maybe I intentionally cried privately because someone that I'm hiding from. I feel like in mini life gets too busy. Like in Sisekishin, Mr. Sebenza. If I were to take time and cry during the day, it would be because I'm in prayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because when the spirit quickens to pray, it's almost like you can say no, Melangels mm -hmm. would so there. But I would, in the middle of the day while things are happening, stop and just cry. I don't think I can because also, I mean, a trauma response that says, while keeping busy will, will distract things from me. So it's a trauma response to say, once I have quietened down or the world has quietened down and I, I take a bath, you know, usually that's when I get to mm -hmm. really release, mm -hmm. you know, you yeah. the, the, the troubles of the day yeah. or the troubles of the week. And, and I water sit, is yeah, water but, Yes, and I sit there and I cry and I cry and I cry. But it, for me, it, it's not about enemies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's not about enemies. Nami, I, I think I didn't see a lot of people from a family um, crying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I didn't. The only time I witnessed Ukala was in domestic violence. And yeah, but so yeah, I, I do it because it's cut in solace and I just sit and I cry. That ain't for me, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, sure, sure. Um, all right, you guys. I think I think that's about it for today. Into today because definitely we'll we'll get to sit and, and talk with no solo. I always say this again, no more solo. Remember that name. Yongo bubugele le pale pants. Sangenze. So keep that, that name. This girl is destined for greatness. Listen for greatness. Yeah, so I think it's a wrap. I'm asking if she has any other questions or any submissions that she would like to, to make. This is the platform, girl. <laughs>
Before the community celebrates you, before the society celebrates you, before the country and the continent celebrates you. Now my sister celebrates me, my mom celebrates me. They don't just celebrate me, they serve me. And I think it's an honor. It's an honor. I mean, even when the Bible itself says you cannot be uh, recognized mm -hmm. in your own town. Yes. Mara, imagine being celebrated, mm -hmm. recognized at home, like it's an honor. I once said to some uh, guy, Apolabu EKFM, I was being interviewed and he's an old man. ambitious. What she's saying is impractical. I to dad, I hope you are not saying that to your kids. I, not, I hope you are not suspending the ambition and the vision that your children have. Because if you are saying it to me, it may be a habit that you are saying it at home. And I hope you are not killing their dreams. So start at home, support your kids, support your sisters, support your siblings. Uh, but also, as servants, mm -hmm. it's um, a call to us to serve at home first. Uh, because if we want to serve the country, we must master it at home. And we <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Keep well for now. Bye.